Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It is February 10th, 2024. We are in the Old Testament book of 2 Chronicles. We're going to read chapter 14 today. Our chronicler is going to continue going through the kings of Judah. Again, he's kind of ignoring Israel unless Israel is interacting with Judah because that's what his focus is on. Uh, we see some patterns here. Again, he, we're going to start with Asa. Nabiah goes to Asa. And we're going to start and see that, hey, you know what? Asa starts off really good, starts off really obedient, there's blessings, and then they fall away. Just like the previous, just like Solomon did, just like Abiah did, just like most of the kings do for quite a ways through this chronicle. We're also going to get a little more information than is found in Kings. So he's pulling from a couple of different sources to bring us these stories. And again, his main purpose is to show this group of exiles coming out of Persia. Hey, you know what? You're connected to all this. This is, you know, this is God's plan for us is if we follow him and we're obedient to him, he'll bless us. If we're not, then he won't. So let's go ahead. We're going to read 2 Chronicles chapter 14. So Baya rested with his fathers and they buried him in the city of David. Then Asa, his son, reigned in his place. And in his days, the land was quiet for 10 years. Asa did what was good and right in the eyes of the Lord, his God, for he removed the altars of the foreign gods and the high places and broke down the sacred pillars and cut down the wooden images. He commanded Judah to seek the Lord God of their fathers and to observe the law and the commandments. He also removed the high places and the incense altars from all the cities of Judah. And the kingdom was quiet under him, and he built fortified cities in Judah, for the land had rest. He had no war in those years, because the Lord had given him rest. Therefore he said to Judah, Let us build these cities and make walls around them, and towers, gates, and bars, where the land is yet before us. Because we have sought the Lord our God, we have sought him, and he has given us rest on every side. So they built and prospered, and Asa had an army of 300,000 from Judah who carried shields and spears, and from Benjamin 280,000 men who carried shields and drew bows. All these were mighty men of valor. Then Zerah the Ethiopian came out against them with an army of a million men and 300 chariots, and he came to Marashah, so Asa went out against him. And they set the troops in battle array in the valley of Zapatha at Masharah. And Asa cried out to the Lord his God and said, Lord, it is nothing for you to help, whether with many or with those who have no power. Help us, O Lord our God, for we rest on you, and in your name we go against this multitude. O Lord, you are our God, do not let man prevail against you. So the Lord struck the Ethiopians before Asa and Judah, and the Ethiopians fled, and Asa and the people who were with him pursued them to Gerar. So the Ethiopians were overthrown, and they could not recover, for they were broken before the Lord and his army, and they carried away very much spoil. When they defeated all the cities around Gerar, for the fear of the Lord came upon them, and they plundered all the cities. For there was exceedingly much spoil in them. They also attacked the livestock enclosures and carried off sheep and camels in abundance and returned to Jerusalem. May God bless the reading of his word and may God bless you. Bye.